it's the time to use this live data connection to build our live data model we head over back to model use live data model choose sap hana live data model with anubhav trainings hana live data connection we click on f4 help and we should find voila that's our cube which we built that's our calculation view we built in sap hana cloud we choose that we click on ok and a live data model is getting created it's all live guys it's all live data there you go we got dimensions we got measures and that's our live data connection we save the live data connection live data model into our training folder models and it's a bi model save it let's call it as hana live sales data perfect perfect superb my next step will be to go ahead and use the live data connection to design a story so let's go back to story and we can click on canvas optimize design experience click on create and we're going to start creating a story on live data connection on hana we're going to drag drop the chart control as of now to create kpis and over here we go to the our folder models bi model and we're going to choose sap hana live data sales connection i will first create some kpi charts so i will create a kpi to show total quantity sold in our business as a numeric point so we can just mention total quantity sold nice let's add the next kpi total amount sold yes that is the amount which was sold total in the company how many total orders are there so we'll let's again create a copy and we will just go ahead and count add a calculation to count the number of dimension summing the dimension count with order id order counts there are total 36 orders in the system what is the customer count in the system how many unique customers are there so we're going to go back and we can just add another calculation to count the aggregation dimensions and business partner id So there are total eight customers in the system how many on average number of orders made by each customer okay very good so on average how many orders per customer make let's add another calculation where we put calculation order count divide by customer count wow average orders average order per customer mathematics guys basic mathematics 4.5 order per customer was made superb nice valuable okay couple of kpis done let's add some chart time for some serious stuff we are going to show total order value order amount by each customer name so don't show the id rather show the name of the customer that's more meaningful for our user superb great now you can also show here unbooked data for the customers which doesn't have the orders you see these are the customers who don't have any order you see yeah because we did in our cube the left outer join 
we are able to drive the customers which doesn't have corresponding orders if i wouldn't would have done a inner join i would never get this data of customers who don't have any order yes so we can do unbook data uncheck so the modeling and the uh, the data uh, you know the data insights they go hand to hand together it all depends on your model how you project your data then we show country wise order percentage so let's add a, another chart i will be adding a donut to show country wise sales so i'm going to come back over here and we choose a donut and we'll show total order quantity sold per country fantastic so this is the quantity sold i am only interested to see top three countries apply so these are the top three countries where my orders are being sold nice let's finally add a transactional data as a table to show all the data transactional data we can come back over here and i'm going to come back to add dimension let's put order id the customer name the country and the uh, city and then we show the total amount and quantity sold we can also add a threshold so let's go back and add a threshold in analytics cloud like i demonstrated in the previous classes conditional formatting adding a threshold on the quantity measure if the quantity sold is greater than uh, uh, get in 45 very good if it is between the 30s to 45 it's okay else if it is less than 30 it's a problem apply done and showcase this threshold for our data in the table so come back to table show the threshold to the user there you go we can change the settings for threshold by going back to the another tab and we can just choose additional threshold settings for our column so we will have all the styling capability over here along with the threshold capability which we can show so a lot of these options are there when it comes to showing the showing the settings for the for the threshold and table properties yeah so we can show threshold style as color values or color background nice beautiful amazing so now how do you ensure it's a live data we need proof so let's first save our story into our batch and stories and i will just say anubhav trainings sales dashboard on live data with sap hana cloud and we can view and this will now show us the data right now what i'm going to do i'm going to go back into sap hana cloud as it's live data as it's live data and i'm going to insert i'm going to insert new data there yeah new data there with new country so country current currently we have indonesia china and colombia as top three correct so just i'm going to add data live into hana so we head over back to sap hana we add a new customer in our database table so go to customer open the data and i'm going to add a new customer in our database table from india so let's 11 and i say mukesh ambani and i will just say mukesh at anubavtrainings.com mail from amchi mumbai india awesome let's add gotham adani gotham at anubavtrainings.com and let's say delhi india let's one more and let's say Prakash Kumar. 
prakash at anubhavtrainings.com Prakash is my cousin brother. He is a big stock market investor from Gujarat, India. Okay, so let's save these three customers, 11, 12 and 13. Three new customers. Yes, round up. Let's add the sales for these customers now. So open data. We're going to insert new sales records. And these three are going to dominate the market actually. 136, 137 and 138. And I said, what are the customers? It's 11, 12 and 13. 11, 12 and 13. One, one order is enough. So order quantity 1020 or let's keep some number like uh, let's say 95 82 and 100 and amount is let's say uh, 3200 1500 and let's say 2400 i save this live data in the database we go back straight ahead to analytics cloud dashboard and just do a refresh over here watch out look at the indonesia china cambodia look at this customer we are ready to experience our top indian businessmen right over there refresh and voila there you go india comes into the ranking with 30 percent sales it's popping up live and there you go prakash kumar mukesh ambani and gautam adani all the three people from india they are blocking their sales live data integration with sap hana cloud with sap analytics cloud cloud to cloud integration thank you so much for joining today's session i hope to see you in my next episode goodbye